You might have a car, but can your ride fold out a pair of wings and turn into an airplane? This is the air car, a flying car that lets you drive down the interstate, then take an interstate flight without leaving your seat. Most flying cars that make it into the real world aren't really cars at all. They're more like personal life-size drones designed to take off vertically and land on the tops of buildings. But a company called KleinVision wants to change that with the air car. According to KleinVision's co-founder, Anton Zajac, the air car is a true hybrid vehicle, just not as you know it. Air car is a dual mode vehicle. It is a nice sports car that you would love to drive in and then without a team of technicians by pushing a button you would convert it transform it into a fully fledged aircraft now this isn't just a pair of wings bolted onto a sports car the wings actually fold out from the body of the air car and then tuck away under panels when they're not in use and what looks like a rear spoiler on the back of the car that actually extends out to become the tail of the airplane. When it's extended out to its full size, the air car measures about two by 5.2 meters or six and a half feet by 17 feet. And when it's fueled up for takeoff, it weighs in at a thousand kilograms or about 2,200 pounds. While a traditional car feels like the last thing you would be able to fly, the KleinVision team designed the air car with aerodynamics in mind. That meant using computational fluid dynamics to create a fully aerodynamic body, with one third of the lift being generated by the actual body shape of the car. But while KleinVision wanted to create a fully functional airplane capable of flying across cities, they also had to consider its shape when it was on the ground. We can't uh, fool the laws of physics. We don't want the wings to be too long and too, too large because we won't eventually drive on the road and we want that air car to be parked in a standard sized garage. When it's all folded up, Zajek says the air car is about the size of a Mercedes S-Class. And under the hood, it has a 1.6 litre BMW V4 engine, and it uses gas that you can buy at a regular gas station. So you can fuel this up pretty much anywhere. The design is the brainchild of Stefan Klein. Klein worked on his first aircraft design, the Aeromobile One, in 1989. Over the decades, Klein refined his designs before founding the Klein Vision Company in 2017 and sending the air car up for its maiden flight three years later in 2020. In 2021, the air car completed its first intercity flight, an 80 kilometer flight from Nitra to Bratislava in Slovakia. The whole flight took about 35 minutes. And then in January, 2022, the air car passed another milestone when it was certified to fly by the Slovak Transportation Authority. Next up, KleinVision wants to move into the US. The company needs to get the air car certified by the Federal Aviation Administration in the experimental category. That'll allow them to start selling the air car in America in limited numbers. From there, KleinVision will need to get a second certification to enter mass production. So what's the goal of building a flying car? Well, this isn't exactly going to replace your standard car. Think of it more like a much easier way of getting into the sky without having to drive to your local airport and get your plane out of the hangar and then gear up to fly. It's extremely convenient to have your plane in the garage and to drive with that plane to a place you can take off and, and land. And meanwhile, go to a shopping mall or, or golf course. Now, if you're not the kind of person who has a personal plane just sitting in a hangar, that probably leads us to the next big question. How much will it cost for this kind of convenience? Well, Zajac says the air car will be in the same price range as a private plane, so about $500,000 to a million dollars, depending on modifications like leather interiors and special instruments. The company is opening up pre-orders in March 2022, and Zajac says they already have about 100 interested customers. So let's just say you have that kind of money to spare. Will you be able to park an air car in your garage? Well, unlike your regular ground car, this one is going to need two licenses to drive and fly. The safety standards uh, with the planes, aircrafts are much, much higher and stringent. So uh, yeah, you need a pilot's license. For example, private pilot, pilot license would be enough for you to fly, but you don't need to 
go to the airport to take off. Any owner of land can give you a permit to take off or land. But while you might need your pilot's license to fly the air car, there is one bonus that you don't get with a small plane. When the weather is bad, you just land and you continue on the road. For now, KleinVision is working on a two-person single-engine aircraft, but it already has plans drawn up for a three-person twin-engine model, and it hopes to introduce an amphibious model in the future. So where does the air car fit in the future of transport, especially when so many companies are pushing hard on EV toll technology? Those are the electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles that companies like GM and Hyundai have been touting in recent years, where getting a ride is a matter of climbing into an air taxi and shooting up from the top of a building. In that future, is there space for a gas-powered car with wings? Well, KleinVision thinks so. EV toll vehicles are moving upwards and downwards most of the time. And that requires a lot of energy. And also uh, it requires a new infrastructure. Whereas aircraft infrastructure is built, you have 25,000 airports in the United States. Just like a private plane, this is definitely going to be a vehicle for hardcore hobbyists or the ultra rich. But unlike all of those 3D renders we've seen of other flying cars, this one is actually real. And while the air car won't replace the standard car in garages across the world, you might see one in skies soon. So what do you think? Is the air car more of a sports car or more of an aircraft? Throw me an emoji in the comments below to let me know which side of the fence you think it lands on. Until next time, I'm Claire Riley for What the Future, bringing you the world of tomorrow today.